Hello and welcome to Northeast Pennsylvania, the home of Cheetah Chassis. Cheetah Chassis has been manufacturing container chassis right here in the USA for some of the largest shipping companies in the world. Please follow us now as we take a virtual tour of our chassis. Cheetah's 2040 three axle maximizer chassis is designed to carry one 40 foot ISO tunnel type container or two empty 20 foot ISO containers or one fully loaded 20 foot ISO container located in the center when the chassis is extended. The gross vehicle weight rating on Cheetah's 2040 Maximizer Triaxle is 90,000 pounds for a 40 foot container. For the 20 foot container, it is 76,000 pounds. That is also the container, the cargo, and Cheetah's chassis. It does not include your tractor. On our 2040 Maximizer Triaxle unit, our front bolster is made out of 50,000 pound certified US milled steel. The front bolster has two sets of twist locks on it. The first set is a set of sliding locks which slide forward for your 40 foot gooseneck container, high cube container. The second set of twist locks is for your 20 foot trailer and operates very simply and easily. Our glide hands and electrical are located in the center of the front bolster and is removable when a container is on board. We do have our corner castings, twist locks painted yellow to make it easier to see when loading with a crane or with a forklift. One of the things we do on all of our Cheetah chassis is we put an extra loop in our air and electrical cords so that you can remove and pull them forward and have enough to repair any damaged items. On our 2040 Maximizer, our kingpin section uses a pancake style kingpin. We also use a channel style at the rear. And if you'll note, that we do have drain holes to release all the water that can gather inside the kingpin. If you also note, it is sealed all the way around to prevent the rust jacking that you see on other types of trailers. I would also like you to note that our kingpin is wrapped all the way around our front bolster so that no damage can happen to the kingpin during hooking and unhooking. In the forward section of our Maximizer, you'll see that we use full height cross members and holes with grommets so that the wiring travels through our cross members. On the 2040 Maximizer, we use an intermediate bolster with a flip up bolster in order to carry the two empty 20s. This bolster simply lifts forward and locks. The bolster then carries the 20 foot empty container on this bolster and the front bolster. The rear 20 foot uses this retractable twist lock in order to carry the rear 20 foot container. On Cheetah's 2040 Maximizer, you'll note that there are four steel wheels which facilitate the bogey when sliding. You will also notice that each bearing has a grease fitting. So during your normal maintenance schedule, you can apply grease to our bearings to keep them rolling and no flat spots will occur. Our Bridgemaster chassis uses a Jost landing gear. There are options for any other type of landing gear that if you would like, we can install and we use a universal mount so that any landing gear leg will fit on Cheetah's 2040 Maximizer. We'd also like you to note that we do use skirted landing gear. What this helps with is when your truck goes over speed bumps with the landing gear lowered, it keeps the upper leg from being damaged. We also use a four inch by five pound per foot channel bracket on the bottom to facilitate any damage. This particular landing gear 
is a 50,000 pound lift and a 160,000 pound static load. In order to slide Cheetah's 2040 Maximizer, you start out by taking the safety pins out of the lock pins. So we'll do that first. The next step would be to ensure that the trailer brakes are activated. Then we take our emergency glad hand from the tractor, we insert it on the third glad hand as it's noted, the chassis lock pins. The next step would be to activate the emergency hose or brakes on the tractor, which will pull the slide pins. As you can see, the pins, the locking pins have retracted. As you drive your tractor forward, you will see that the trailer extends and the sliding bogey stays in place. Once the tractor has moved forward enough that the pin does not relock into the old hose, we will now go and unhook the emergency hose. As we move forward, you'll see the pins automatically go into the holes for the 40 foot position. As you can see, the tractor rocks back and forth slightly in order to make sure the lock pins are in place. Once the lock pins are in place, it is now time to put the safety lock back in the lock pin. The trailer is now set up to put a 40 foot gooseneck chassis on. Now that we have the 2040 Maximizer stretched, we need to prepare it to take a 40 foot ISO high cube container. The first thing after extending the unit, you will need to take the safety pin out, lift slightly and pull the locking pin. You will then raise the locking mechanism insert the pin and reinsert the safety latch and as you can see the twist lock is now in the correct position to put on the 40 foot iso container and lock it in place now we're looking at the rear end of our 2040 maximizer chassis and as you can see we do have two dock bumpers located in the center of the unit we also have the LED truck light lights. And if you notice, all of our trailers do have eyebrow protection to protect the light when it backs up into the dock. We also have a center bumper that allows you to back up to a dock and use the dock lock device, which comes underneath the bumper and hooks. The license plate does have a light. And also notice that we use penny lights or model 33 truck light lights for the center ICC lights. On our mud flaps, we do use four 5 16 bolts when attaching those. Therefore, you do not have to worry about tearing off any mud flaps. On our 2040 Maximizer chassis, we feature Cooper 11R 22.5 14 ply tires as a standard. We can offer any other type of tire that you would prefer. Even have you supply the tires uh, is an available option. We mount the tires on the eight and a quarter by 22.5 rims. These are five handhold steel wheel rims. They are hub piloted and come with a five inch axle. The suspension on this particular trailer is a Hutch 54 and a half inch spacings and also could come with different suspensions. Uh, they are all options on this chassis. It does not come with an air ride. Uh, this chassis will not uh, take an air ride or a lift axle at this point. 
Our 2040 Maximizer chassis comes standard with a Wabco brake valve, and we can do this in either 2S1M or 4S2M. Also as an option, this trailer is available with the anti-roll stability system from Wabco or Bendex.